Dude, this is um, this is like most of the mountain we're running up, right? <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I feel like this is a quite a big. This is quite Ooh, a. Oh shit! This looks steep. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not making. Oh, maybe no. walk. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Fuck! Oh no! No, get up! Stop falling! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Why? Why? Why am I falling so much? Get up! What's happening? <laughs> the whole way Oh, down. I fell as well. Oh, God, no. I fell as well. Are you all right? Okay, we should really oh, pick a different I'm, spot, dude. I'm... Oh, <laughs> slowly. Oh, fuck. I can fuck. see you. I don't know if you can see me. I'll stop you. I'll stop you. <laughs> I got you. Oh, oh, God, oh. oh, you didn't fuck stop me at all. <laughs> oh, so, I'm going to hit this tree. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Are you actually... <laughs> you're died. like, I can just see, you're like frozen in spot, just like sliding. You actually died! Alright, I'm just waiting for you at the train tracks. Oh god! I'm here. <laughs> hey, <my train. laughs> Hi, Jem, you're looking good. Well. Ready to go for a Thanks, big hike? Buddy. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Come on. You look like, uh,. You look like the actor from um, The Matrix who plays Cypher, you know, the ignorance is bliss guy. I can't remember his name. <laughs> he plays like the ratty, ratty kind of half Mexican people in uh, in uh, movies. Oh, look at this guy just enjoying his yeah, day I at the lumber mill. Michelle Rodriguez? I no, mean. that's <laughs> Michelle Rodriguez. That's a woman. <laughs> no, but she also plays. No, she plays like the macho, possibly lesbian uh, Mexican female in movies. Yeah. No, but he's uh, I don't know his name. I don't know his name. Oh Fish look, names. they've locked up they've locked off the bridge. We can't actually have Terminator sex in here anymore. It's closed off from us. Really? Hmm. That was open last night. <laughs> Not the only thing that was open God last night. Damn it! Let me in <laughs> Alright. Alright, so I'm in your hands, man. How, how are we gonna start this hike? We're just gonna I'm quite the okay. So we've already gone the wrong way. We need to we need to go this way. Oh, back onto the trail. Um, okay. If you follow me through here, mm -hmm. this trail is through it. The wilderness. Oh, it's nice. And then we'll just yeah, just walking pace. I think that's good. Walk, walk our way up to <sighs> all Beautiful the way. Beautiful morning up as there. well. Perfect, oh, perfect morning for hiking. It's it's eight a.m. It is the time of hiking. It is mm. hiking hour right now. Last time I went hiking um, was with a mate. We, he has like a little van uh, that he like he has like a bed in, roll that bed because he, he likes to surf. So he drives around and he'll sleep in it, park somewhere and then surf early in the morning. And um, we were like way out uh, near Mansfield, uh, somewhere in Victoria, for those who are listening, Mansfield. somewhere rural Victoria. It's near, near Mount Buller. Yes. I think we were at a place called U. Uh, y E W, challenge over. Thank God. you. You. Oh, we could have won that challenge if we did it. But anyway, fucking get off my screen, purple cunt. Do you see it? Do you see that challenge over? Oh, I see it's gone. I see it's anyway. gone now. Um. So we drove out into the wilderness a little bit. I don't remember. We were at some like natural reserve, some little forest, and we're like, hey, let's just go yeah. for a hike. Um. We we looked on like a map and we saw it like it looped around. So like, okay, that's perfect. So we went ahead and did that. And then, of course, we got lost. Of course. Um, <laughs> we got very lost. As you do. As you do. And uh, it was very scary. We started, like, jogging at the end because we were like, oh, fuck, it's going to get dark. <laughs> we were just these two retards. Very funny, though. You know, it always is. So, oh. Are you all right? What was that? I'm fine. I don't know. You, you kind of bugged out. Oh, I see there. a trail over there. <gasps> Lovely. This is what we're following. Up the mountain we go. And you know what? I think this will be easier. I don't think we can oh. get... You're really yeah. bugging out for me. I don't know if my brother's watching porn or oh, something. Really? But yeah. All right. All good. Let's go. Um, but I, yeah, this is a I, mountain. I just heard you. Yep. I don't think we this can. This is it. Look at that yeah. lovely... Ah. Oh. Huh? Beautiful. I don't think we can get lost going on because because we're just heading up a mountain oh no i think we'll be fine i think we're all good i mean has anyone ever got lost following a track up a mountain it's one of those <laughs> things where it's foolproof i'm sure no one ever 
has ever been lost. I've never heard of anyone getting no. lost up a mountain. I mean, it's just, Liter- it's literally to my right lost. is a book called In Thin Air about the like eleven people who died in Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't that wasn't Into like your nor- that was that was like a specialty mountain. This is just a normal, generic, bog standard mountain. You're right. This mountain they is were, not. They were walking special. up a snowy mountain. Yes, and because there's no snow, and because you're wearing hiking shoes, I'm also aptly dressed. Mate, you're just wearing thongs and a bloody pair of speedos. <laughs> it's paid deal, sonnies. <laughs> I look good, uh, dude. I want to. I want to talk to you about. Um, what I did last night, because Gem and I originally planned to do this late last night, and I, I do apologize. I had to reinstall GDA because my hard drive died. You guys probably know that story. My hard drive died last year. Any- <gasps> Is this like a dead animal? We've got some food. Holy Gem. shit. Oh, no, it's a That's log. It's a log. Damn it. Apparently, the oh. great pioneers used to eat coral. Oh, yeah. So, oh, my God. Where'd you pull that from? Jesus. Fuck. Oh, no, nowhere. Sorry, let's fucking keep Jack Nicholson, get <laughs> away from me. Um, it's anyway, Jeremy, <laughs> it's Jeremy. Late last night, I like your tats, man. Sick tats. What's that one on the right? It's like a skull. It's um, yeah, it's a skull. What does it represent? It represents all the people I've killed. Oh. <laughs> anyway, late last night. I made Jim wait, and I was waiting, and we were both we both did nothing last night. We were up until like eleven o'clock, waiting to play GDA, waiting for the updates to install, and it didn't happen. Uh-huh. Anyway, Mum was uh, was home, and she's like, "Well, why don't you watch? Uh, why don't you watch this horror movie with me? It's called Goodnight Mummy. Have you heard of that? I've heard of it. Yes, you haven't seen A it. Horrible horror film. Horrible. Have you have you seen it? I've not seen it. I've not seen it. I'm not a horror guy. Okay, neither. I'm too much of a <laughs> puss. Yeah, me too. I was like, Mom, I'm yeah. pussy. Mom, I'm a, I'm a middle-aged woman. She's like, what do you mean? I'm a, literally a middle-aged woman. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think I'd know. I think I'd know. Um, and so she convinced me to watch it. And it was very disturbing. And look, will you, will you watch it? Can I tell you what happens? Or You can tell me whatever you want. I'm not going to watch it. Really? Can I spoil it for you? Of course. Okay. All right, hold on. One second. There's a man over there, that way, who's literally hiking right now. Oh, let's go yeah. hang out. No, 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 don't shoot him. Let's go hike with him. Right. No, I was just... Legit. Popular. Okay. Let's, he knows what he's doing. We don't. We'll hey, hike. buddy. Can we hike with Mate. you? I think that's James Franco. <laughs> da, 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 da. Can't be James Franco. It is. I can tell he's missing an arm. Are you James Franco? Hey. Hey, buddy. You look like you know what you're doing. Can we hike with you? Yeah, he's got... Look, he's got all his stuff sorted there and everything. And... Oh, my God. That's not James Franco. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's still rolling. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> Suck a dick! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's let's continue. All right. All right. Um, this yeah, way. we don't need anybody else on this hiking trip. Just you and me. That's what it's all That's about. Right. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? James Good night, mummy. James Franco. He's dead yeah. now. Black Black Franco. Oh, he's actually dead. Shit. Is he? Yeah, he I dead. think so. I'm pretty sure he's. Where? <laughs> Where? I can't even see him. Hello. I think he faded away. Is, was that hello. you saying hello, or should I should I mute that's, the game? That's, that's me saying hello. All right, let's let's. <laughs> Is I'm that gonna, James I'm a, Franco? I think that's James Franco. He's back. It's the exact leave same it, guy. It. Hey, bro. No, why do, why do you have to push me off? <gasps> Will you can't do that? Oh my god. <laughs> oh! oh. 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 That's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at oh, what a great idea to have these chats on GDA. It makes it so much oh. more fun. Oh, what a good idea. All right. Um, good night, mommy. Oh, I feel right. bad to that guy. That was mean. Yeah. That was mean. Oh, not, not the hiker. Fuck him. I mean the guy who... The real person. 
Yeah. Who came into team speak. Anyway, um, bro. Good night, mommy. Yeah, bro. It's, it's shot really well. Cinematography's great, and you, you love it? your cinematography. What's it about? I don't, I don't know it. It's a horror film about um, it's, it's it's minimalist in story. So it's you just see these. It's about a family. It's about these two twin boys and their mother um, comes. She's been away for months um, having surgery. You don't know why. She's either she's been in an accident or like she's had some surgery. Whatever. Anyway, there's been a separation, and so. She's there with yes. the boys on a holiday, and it's a German film, so it's all in subtitles. And they go, um, oh god, that sounds horrific. No, it's great. It's great. Oh, that's yeah. not it. Oh, There's no okay. Jews oh, in sorry. it, though. There's no Jews in it. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a shame. Yeah, normally the Jews make really good movies, so <clears throat> it's a bit different. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so um, they go on like a holiday together, and the mother, um rents out this beautiful home out in the German wilderness, <laughs> the German wilderness, <laughs> wherever that is. So they're in this beautiful home out somewhere, very remote. Yeah. And um, the mother, you would have seen some of the photos for it. The mother's got like, um, she's had like uh, you got facial no surgery. Yeah, she's had like facial surgery. So she's like <clears throat> got all these, um, bond she's got bondage all over her face. And it's like, that's why yeah, right. there's that pun, goodnight mummy, because she looks like a mummy. And it's it's very creepy. She's really weird. And she comes back and she's really like, really different. And the kids are like, they, they identify something wrong with her. Yeah, anyway, sure. so. Um, and then she's putting them to bed. Yeah, there's all this like, stuff. And like, oh, the whole. Say? The whole film, this is, I'm just going to cut it. Like, spoilers if you want to watch the film. It's a good film. If you like horror, please go watch the film. I, I did enjoy it, but I had a big problem with it. Like, what it does is it hints at the supernatural, the whole film. Like, it, the whole film obviously hints that this woman is, um, you know, some kind of monster or some kind of demon that's replaced the mother. Yeah, sure. She's had, she's had facial reconstructions to look like their mother when she's really not... And she tries to separate the boys oh. because they're they're twins, and it's like fucking The Shining. It's a, in boy form. They're like two twins who um get along really well and like do everything together and all this stuff. Anyway, the issue oh, is the issue horrible. I have with the film is throughout the whole film they hint at the supernatural. This whoa, you're right there. Be yep. Careful, dude. You know I'm you gotta okay. be careful, Hike. You gotta watch each step. You know, looking down. Ah. Don't look up. Just look down. Watch each step. Watch each step. That's how you do it. Wow, we've fucking hiked a long way god Man, should we really take a sweaty. breather should we take a breather hang on let's let's get up here and have Woo! some trail mix sit down have some trail oh, mix you're running are there, i don't know if i brought any trail mix with me but i left mine at the under the bridge terminator yeah hmm. um, anyway um <laughs> what was i saying all right let's ow. Oh, all right let's, let's just continue sorry, then sorry, Fuck sorry. you got energy let's just go um I'm fine. The, I'm, the whole I'm sorry, movie. I'm walking this way. <laughs> Sidestepping. That's great. The whole movie hints at the supernatural, and there's actually. Oh, is that parachute? Let me let me get it. Let me get it. Yes. Now I can ditch you. Oh, I got one too. Oh, nice. Yes. So the whole movie. Uh, yes. <gasps> Hikers. There you go. Let's go chill. The whole movie hints at the. Um, oh, by the way, we're serial killers. We're gonna kill the hikers. I think. Um, okay. Do you reckon, um, or do you want to, or do you want to walk am, with I them? I already am one. How about we? How about we? <laughs> axes out. I just want to have a little we, chat to them. Yeah. How about we befriend I've got them? To ask. I, I just want to say something to them. Hold on. Let okay. me. Let me. Um, right. Let me. Stay there. Let me. Let me run around next to the hill. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this this oh, movie. They're... Oh, hang on. They, oh, they see us. They Hi guys. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful day. Hey, beautiful day. Oh, he's taking a selfie. I just what, want to ask you doing with you that axe? You fucking... Oh my, oh my god. god! He fucking he's. Oh, sorry, I punched you. God, nice work. Oh, his friend is like, hmm. What seems to be the problem? Luckily, I have. <laughs> what a fuckwit! This guy was awesome. He like defended himself, and the other one's just like, oh, my friend seemed. Well, we, we don't have to worry about the body, I guess. You wanna you wanna clean up this one as well, please? Um yes. I might leave him with something. A little something something. 
Well, so I'll just take a step back. That'll do. I don't know if they blow up though. I don't know how to blow them up. Uh, it's on the D-pad, they... isn't it? They um. Where is that? Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Send him um... off the mountain. Whoa! He's gone. I don't even see where he went. Okay. Oh, he's down there, just yeah, smoldering beautiful. in he's the bushes. Smoldering. That's good. Anyway, this movie. Good. <laughs> good night, mummy. It, <laughs> it's shot really well, and it's really well like the suspense. There's no jump scares. It's all like suspense horror, which is what I like. You know, like The Shining or Exorcist. Horror done well. Alien. So it, I was really enjoying it. And what they do is they have these scenes that hint at the supernatural. Like there's a scene where she eats a cockroach when she's sleeping. There's a scene where, and this is like a big scene they build up to. She runs out into the woods and she gets naked, right? And she has like a seizure, yep. like her, her head like spins around. Like the classic horror thing with the head. I think Hellraiser did it first. Uh -huh. You know, you've seen that, haven't you? Yes. Like where they move the head. I think they shoot it. Um, yeah. They do two shots. Spins all they, the way around. Yeah, that, yeah, like what they do. No, 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 no. Like the head's like shaking. Have you ever watched Dark Place? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, the guy who, who kind of explodes. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah. I think what they do is they, they do two shots. So they shoot the woman standing there, right? And then yeah. they shoot another shot where she tries to stand still, but she just moves her head around. And then obviously they speed it up. And then they splice they in the, they, there. They overlap them. Yeah, they cut them in together and maybe yep, with green yep, yep, screen yep, yep. or something and make it look. I good. thought you meant like an exorcist head spin all the way. through. No, no, but that is also the classic, which exorcist did first. That's fucking awesome. That, but then again, it's probably the book really that innovated that idea. You know, that's oh, a great idea. William Friedkin, or is that the director? I don't know. I think that was director. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but um, um yeah. But so it was they good. it was a classic sort of new age horror film. Yeah, it was good, and I was enjoying it. And then at the end of the film, um, the boys find out all this stuff about the mum, and they pin her down, and they're like, "Tell us who you are, who you are. You know, you're not our mum. Like, tell us who you are." And she's like, "I'm your mum. I'm your mum. Your mum." And like all this stuff, and the audience is led to believe that she is um, the bad guy. But then they do this thing um, where. The mother wakes up um, and like her face is all back to normal. Like she takes off the bandages and her face is all good. Um, and, you know, they kind of swap characters. So they do this scene where the mother wakes up and she's tied down and the boys are wearing masks. And I immediately went, that's interesting because they've, they've, they're trying to switch the characters. So I went, hey, maybe it's something up with the boys. Maybe something's gone wrong there. And I was trying to work out what was going on. And then at the end, when they're about to burn her alive... Um, she goes, um, your twin brother isn't coming back. Okay. Just get over it. Like he's dead. You think it's not hard for us? And then of course, you know, it's the classic six cents. Spoiler alert, by the way, spoiler alert. One's dead. Um, one isn't. Yeah. The twin brothers died and the boy has psychological problems. But oh my, my problem God. with the film was, is that they explicitly had scenes that, you know, were about. Explain that. Yeah. Exp no, no, no. They had scenes showing the mother doing supernatural things like eating the cockroach going out in the woods and having a fucking naked seizure and that's just cheating yeah. the audience you know that's cheating like that is not creative filmmaking in any way to do with her at all. exactly exactly it's it's honestly cheating like there was one scene where the where the boy cuts her open and cockroaches come out of her but then the boy wakes up and i'm like okay that's cool but they can't do that a third time and they should have i don't know they should have hinted they should have been more subtle and then yeah. the, the twist would have worked. But anyway, so I gave it like a seven out of 10 because it was done really well, but it was just, it was cheating writing wise. Like I didn't, it really pissed me off what they did in the end. Cause like, the, like I'm all call. for, yeah, I'm all for good twists, but, uh, but yeah. So how about you, man? You seen any good films lately? How about we talk about something that we've both seen? <laughs> what have we seen lately? Uh, Did you see I the know Martian? We were talking about the last thing. No, I never saw the Martian. Mm. Um, I, uh, the, I think the last thing that you and I were talking about that we saw was um, Deadpool, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's talk about that. That's topical as well. Very good. Yes. Oh, very good. Yes. Well, oh. um, and I, I think... I, I can't remember how you felt about it, but it might be a bit of a split opinion on this one. Mm -hmm. 
Well, how about how about a, I go first, a, and then and then you please. give me you give me your big opinion. I'll I'll just sum it up quickly. Okay, I liked it. I again yes. probably gave it like a six or seven out of ten. It was good. I thought the comedy was great, and I like that it was yep. very self aware, and that it broke the fourth wall. And I think that's what the audience wanted too. And I think Ryan Reynolds, yes. in the same way that Robbie Danny Robert Danny Jr. is made for Iron Man, you know, he's made for that character. It's perfect for him and. The characters were all done really well. And I think when it played on superhero stereotypes, it did that well. It it did it all well. My issue was that it was very formulaic. It was a dumb story. But, I mean, they kind of got away with it because they were like, oh, we're aware of that, you know, like with a British villain. And, like, you know, they said that at the start and all that kind of stuff. But um, it was a dumb story with a silly Hollywood ending. And um, I think what... And like that kind of annoyed me, but what pissed me off the most was they had a they had a um, excuse to do Edgar Wright style visual comedy, and I didn't see any yeah. any of that whatsoever, you know. And that that really bothered me. Like you know, um, what's that movie that he did with um, the video game one? You know the, the one? who did Edgar Wright? He wrote and directed Scott Pilgrim. Um, Scott Pilgrim, yeah. And I really enjoyed that, you know. It was the visual comedy and that's really yeah. good. Like how people jump out the window and like silly stuff like that. And I think in Deadpool right. they could have done visual comedy and they didn't. But anyway, I liked it. Seven, maybe six and a half, seven out of ten. So tell me your sure. your opinion. Oh look, I um <clears throat> I went and saw it with a few mates, uh yeah. who were probably more keen to see it than I was. I'm not a big superhero fan. Um I mean I watch them. Um, mm. I mean, from a filmmaker's perspective, it's interesting for me to watch because I, uh, those are the films that make a lot of money. And yeah, at the end exactly. of the day, that's what you kind of want as a filmmaker is to make, well, make that's how you get, uh, ends made out of making that's how a you film. get a, how you get a movie deal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, and, and so I, I try to go watch them and we went and saw Deadpool. Um, and I don't reckon I laughed more than twice. It really? Was a very, a very quiet screening there was probably about 10 people in the cinema if that uh so the energy wasn't really there but i um i didn't i didn't i didn't find it funny at all wow um and it's probably against popular opinion but i I just thought it was trying very hard um yeah trying very hard to do what it was try and be you know edgy or you know vulgar Sure. I mean, and it was vulgar. Um, so you think you I, think I, um, it was an easy way out by by playing on the stereotypes of superhero movies? Like it was a very simple thing to do. Is that is that what you're no, saying? Like no, I, I think I think they did a good job at what they were trying to do. Yeah. But I th- I think it's it's one of those things where you kind of like. It, it was it was a situation where I went and saw that. It was similar to when I went and saw Twenty Two Jump Street in the cinema. Hmm. And yeah. wait, which was the first one? Twenty One Jump Street. I went and saw Twenty One yeah. Jump Street. It was the same as when I went and saw Twenty One Jump Street in the cinema. Did you like Twenty One Jump Street? I, lo- I liked it. I didn't laugh at all. I, I really, it was really bad. Wow. And, and that's just <clears throat> this is just me though, man. Like, and and it was I was sitting there and I was yeah, like, look at this view. It's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my word. Oh, that's <laughs> all good. So good. Come on, come on. Watch We're it. almost there. <laughs> almost there. So, at sunset. I had that's this, what we I want. Had this, uh, I had this epiphany where it was. It was like I think I've outgrown these movies. Um, yeah. um I think that's how I felt about Deadpool. I, I I laughed a few times, but I think that um, in Australia, that kind of like very vulgar humour isn't mm. really used as much as it is overseas. Um, and so sometimes I was just kind of like, I know what you're trying to do here, but I don't know if I like it. Yeah. And okay. uh, that's kind of, that was kind of my biggest issue. But like, I thought, I thought um, the idea of having like a kind of a um, more adult version of a superhero movie was a good idea. I, I appreciated that it was more violent. It was more, you know, uh, it had more swearing. It had nudity in it. Yeah. Um, all yeah. that sort of thing that kind of you don't see in your average sort of film. Yeah. 
and and I that's think, I kind of liked that. I, I was like tops to you. Um, that's yeah, and that's where these movies are heading. Like I think I honestly think Captain America, the new one, will probably be the last most well praised superhero movie that comes out for a very very long time. And that's that's a hard opinion to have. But I I don't know if Batman vs Superman will do that well. I mean maybe it could be a really good film, but I don't really like Zack Snyder. Uh huh. Yeah. I, anyway, um, back to back to I, back to Deadpool. Sorry, I yeah, I, I understand that man. You you've that, articulated that was my that. only beef with Deadpool. Um, yeah. And I also think it, it wasn't all that ambitious. Like in its in its style exactly. approach, it was it was That's, definitely yeah. ambitious. But I think it didn't match that with its the actual story. Yeah. story. And I and I think that was probably reflected in the budget. Like I feel like it wasn't a, a very big budget. Nah, like, nah. Com- yeah, yeah, but but bullshit like, though. Like you can still write a write an interesting story. I mean, it, it, the the story points, like you know, gets cancer, gets superpowers, like all that stuff was had to happen, and all that stuff happened well. Yeah, it was an origin story. Expect, it was. Yeah, yeah. Audiences expect that, but um, yeah. There was no let's, real. Let's threat. run up it here so we get a just like sunset shot, dude. I just want to get a look. yeah. Well, it was more shot. about like just kind of him trying to get his girl back, which was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, it's fine. Um, but I, I honestly don't really know her or care about her um, yeah. because we, uh, she she as a character wasn't really developed. Yeah, ex- exactly. Prostitute, um, but we but we like her. Me to, yeah, oh, like she was fine. Like whether she was a prostitute or not, like it was it was more just like I don't I don't really know her or like why why. Why should I care? Um, yeah. And I mean, at the end of the day, when you're making a film, like for your audience to care about your characters is everything. Um, yeah, I yeah, cared exactly. about I cared about um, him, uh, whatever his name was in the film, Wade hmm. Wilson or something. Yeah. But I, I, I tell you what, I didn't care for his plight. Yeah, okay. You know what? Or I, maybe I, just I'm cool I didn't with that. care for that to be the whole thing. You know what, dude? I, I, I gave it about a five. Okay, okay. So a little, just a little bit worse than me, I guess. At the end of the day, well, dude, we yeah. did it, and I think that's Thinking a great the end of the day. A great place to to wrap up this first podcast. I think beautiful, you're right. Beautiful sunset shot. Thank you so much. I think for listening in. Oh, a little a little flare. Trying to trying to get some light up here. Hmm. Well, let's um. Do where's that bridge? And- is there like a bridge that we can jump off? I mean, that we can look over. Oh God. Um, that was a bit of a suspicious thing to say. No, <laughs> <laughs> just have a little look here. But yeah, dude, I, I get you with Deadpool. I think I think superhero movies are becoming dry, and even though audiences go like, "Oh yeah, I want to see Superman vs Batman," I think I honestly do feel that subconsciously audiences are getting sick of these superhero films because. It's just the way the industry goes. I mean, once you see something repeated so many times, you just get sick of it. Yeah. And I think um, the 2010 to 2020, this decade will be known as the superhero decade in, in films. That's honestly. right. I think it will. And, and, I, I really and think it will. Who was it that, was it Spielberg you? that said, I'm just behind you. It was Spielberg oh, yeah. that said, yeah. um, you know, I think the uh, the superhero genre oh, is going to die off like the Western genre did. Like, yes, uh, yeah, which is an interesting comparison, you know. Um, yeah. But I I completely agree. I think it will. Um, oh dear. Oh, oh, oh I didn't dear. think oh, you were going to make oh, that. Oh, oh, please don't fall off. Oh God, no! Oh, oh, Bob, 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 no! Oh. All right. Oh, well, boy. thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much for watching. It's been a blast. Um, mostly hikers have been blasted, but, um, oh God, I what a great oh, hike that was though. Really good. Really nice. I lost a bit of weight as well. You know, I reckon. And because we didn't bring the trail mix, you know what? That's just, um, extra, extra weight lost. End of the day. Mate, you're right. You're spot on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, um, we'll, uh, we'll do another one soon, I reckon. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. I think it's nice. We need to think of some other stuff to do, whether it's like walking or like... I like the hike idea, but um, we'll figure yeah. something out. What's that big fire down there? Is that you? No, I'm um, I'm parachuting in uh, down the mountain. How do you parachute? How do you use it? You just jump and then you push X, I think. Oh, uh, God. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if... Um, 
if anyone has any, I mean, <laughs> suggestions of what we can do as well, that would be yes. yeah. cool. Um, mm. uh, yeah. And I should probably, I don't know if I should give a quick plug to the vlogs that I'm doing or anything. Like Definitely. That. Go check out uh, Jem's channel. He's not um, a YouTube personality, but he, I think uh, he has potential to become one. I think he's just starting. And um, yeah. at the end of the day, he is more than anything a very talented filmmaker. Um, at the moment, Cherokee is playing in some festivals. Do you want to tell people a little bit about Cherokee, actually? Yeah, Please. I mean, it's, um, it's a short film I made um, a few years ago now. And... Um, it's a something that I wrote and directed, and it's a, a little dark comedy. Um, that's it's been doing okay in the um, the uh, festival circuit. So um, I've uh, played at some Australian festivals, but um, in April I'm actually going to be coming over to the US to New York um, for the Tribeca mm. Film Festival, which is very exciting. Um, the Big Apple. Cherokee and I'm going to the Big Apple. That's a good thing because I love apples and I love eating them, <laughs> and uh, I'm ready to take a chomp out of this one. So That's all um, you're gonna yeah, be doing. like I've got a uh, I've got a um, a YouTube account running that I'm gonna be doing some vlogs from, um, as well as uh, <laughs> sorry, you I know, just, just your, your jumped your off a mountain <laughs> and I I just oh, I just boy. was like fucking spiraling around. Yeah, I think Jem Jem is great sense of humor. He he watches some really good uh, YouTubers. One of them being me. No, he watches uh, <laughs> sips like I do. You can make Chris. videos. Yeah, we should. I think this is one that do we're you doing make right videos now. On YouTube. Yeah, I think I think I do. What? Yeah, I know. Not not for the last Wait, couple what, of weeks. What do you What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Classic. No, no, no. I don't have a YouTube account. I have a RedTube account. What the very, fuck are you talking about? Very popular on uh, on the RedTubes. All right, dude. This has gone on too long. I'm gonna have, have fun editing this. Yeah, good. Man. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. I think every like couple of weeks. I think every fortnight would be good. You know? Yeah, I think so. And we can talk about the uh, the latest films or TV or you know music or anything that we've uh, yeah been watching, think, listening to, and or experiencing. I think we should try to keep it to like music, movies, TV, and video games. And I think that'll yeah. that'll just that'll do. Run. That'll do. That'll, that'll do. That'll work itself out. All right, I've killed myself about six times. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye.